this chest either has ghost fish or essence. Now I've been having a problem with these first few chests in this chapter, allowing the ghost fish or having the ghost fish allow me to charge a full UT. They keep on biting me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this chest and get yellow essence. If I get ghost fish, I'm go ahead and reset. Now if you're looking for a comma and kills, go ahead and wait for the ghost fish and just kill them regularly. But I'm gonna get so much essence in here, I don't need to use the ghost fish. Here we go. X Y X X X pause Y. Now I miss the fact that I de that Ice Ninja, so I'm going to sit here and wait for him to jump down. Not jumping down, so I figured I must have nicked him and he's de -limbed. So let's go take care of him really quick, and I love this OT. Watch this. This is great. Stab, rip off his head. Now that Dead Ninja right there contains a free Talisman of Rebirth, and if you already have one in your possession, it will not give you essence, so that's why I was telling you in Chapter 4, use that Talisman of Rebirth once you get past the Test of Valor, otherwise it will go straight to waste. Now, from my experience using those Dual Katanas for the Lycans, Dual Katanas at level 3 have a higher kill rate than the Lycan. There we go, I heard them start charging, jump back. Now, you want to keep them as focused as you can. I'm actually releasing my UT too late. You want to release them right where I'm doing a tight group so your UT just completely obliterates them. Okay, wind path over their heads to absorb the essence. Now don't go too far back here because they will start separating themselves out and start throwing more body parts at you. This fight's a little tricky because there's not as much corners to go around, so you just gotta kinda play it by ear. There we go, absorb the essence. Now again I'm gonna stay right here. You just gotta learn these guys when they're gonna be start throwing body parts at you and when they're going to just slowly approach you. And it just takes a little bit of time to learn. Now, right here, Spirit of the Devils. Save this. I save it for the Test of Valor in Chapter 6. That Test of Valor is probably the most difficult one of the entire game. And you really need that Spirit of the Devils for that. It makes it a little bit easier for you. So let's go and save and get ready for the next set of gajas coming up. Okay, the next fight is a set of three gajas. Now I've got my Lunar, which is my favorite weapon to take on these guys, because I like chaining Lunar 360 ETs on them. But in this fight, they come from such a distance, I have plenty of time to charge a 360 UT right away. Now usually with a 360 UT, you'll deal them one and kill them one. I get lucky in this case, and I end up killing all three with one UT. So that makes it a little bit easier. If you don't kill all of them, or just kill one of them, don't worry. Just go back and do a 360 ET and keep on chaining that. Now go to the left, don't swim to the right. I'm swimming down because I just want to double check that there's no chest in here. For some reason I had it in my head that there's an extra chest other than this one. Now that chest right there has a spear, or yeah, the spear gun for you, but since it's a new game plus and I already have a spear gun, it just gave me 5,000 in essence. Now this next fight coming up, I'm going to speed up because it's boring as hell. I can't begin to tell you how much of a worthless enemy I think these jellyfish are. Oh, it is kind of cool to see this in machine gun speed. These enemies don't give you any points, they don't give you any kills. They do give you some essence, and they do give you some blue essence and red essence and yellow essence, but they require no skill to fight. All they require is an incredible amount of stamina with your thumb to keep on pressing the B button over and over again. Oh, let's talk about the next fight and I'll complain about the god or complain about the jellyfish a little bit later. Next fight is a bunch of ganjas. Now stay over to your left side and just slowly creep up. As soon as you see a ganja forms, just start shooting and you should be able to take out all these guys with no health loss. You can see this once a spear gun hits them, they become stunned. So the trick is to get this fight to spawn, whip out the spear gun as fast as possible and then keep them in that stun mode. Now don't stop too soon because there's going to be several groups that are going to come after you. And the spear gun is kind of nice because it gives you a little bit of 360 degree protection. You'll see that coming up at the end of this fight right here. Now you can see I'm not aiming at him. He's going to sneak up right behind me and I kill him anyway even though I wasn't directly aiming at him. Now you think I'm gone but watch the distance. There's a couple more ganjas coming in. So I'll just start pressing B and take them out. This is by far the easiest way to take them out because fighting on water in this game just sucks. I cannot stand the fighting on water. Fighting a line goes so smooth and so fast and then they put you on water and what happens? It slows down and becomes tedious and irritating. 
Okay, let's go back to my rant about these jellyfish. Not only just sit here and press B over and over and over and over and over again until the little fucker stops spawning, but it hurts my thumb and it pisses me off. Now, I could get a controller that you just press B once and it keeps on pressing it for you, which would be nice, but I don't want to spend the money to do that because the game decides it's going to put an incredibly annoying enemy that requires absolutely zero skill to kill. And especially in Chapter 9 on Master Ninja, where they spawn and they keep on spawning forever, what the hell is the point of that? And you're probably hearing me swear about it a little bit later on, especially when we get to Chapter 9, but I think these enemies are a waste of time. And you, you clearly know that they're there, they can refill your health, I guess that's the only good thing about that, they can refill your nimple. Other than that, they're a complete waste. Um, if you also, the other thing you also notice is I swam down under there, looking for something, it's a crystal skull that should have been there, for some reason I thought there was an herb down there. So let's go and save, even though I don't need to replenish my health. Let's save and I'll show you a trick for firing up the next fight. Now you can see I switched 